Hello again. Uh, I'm going to look at the, um, the the software now and look at the results I get by using the DAC. You can see the hardware uh, has been changed here. Um, the LTC uh, 2602 I've just talked about uh, is the DAC I'm now using. Um, I've extended it by two bits um, using um, modulation. Uh, same rate as before, so it's uh, one kilohertz um, modulation. Uh, and uh, give me a f an effective 18 bits of resolution. Um, some other things I've done to the firmware which are probably worth um, noting. The stability of the ADC um, uh, or, or the readings I was getting from the analog to digital converter needed needed to be um, um, uh, improved. The, the ADC according to the data sheet is uh, effective to 21.5 bits. Uh, what I've done is I've masked back the ADC um, to 22 bits, so I've, I've, I'm discarding the um, the least significant two bits. Um, I've then also added um, four times oversampling, um, so I'm averaging averaging readings um, across four samples. And if you recall, the ADC actually runs pretty slowly, about three samples a second. So the average reading is actually over quite a long period of time, uh, about a second. It's, I, I, I'd like it to be much better than that, and I do. Um, I am going to look at another uh, analog to digital converter, but for now, um, it, it, it gives a fa fa fairly good result, so that might be unnecessary. So the four times oversampling in software was quite important because um, because the the the, the noise. Um, Otherwise, on the displays were were really not as good as they should be. Um, I've also improved the calibration routines um, because I've got much more resolution out of this. Uh, actually, the calibration routines needed to be um, significantly better than they were. Um, I guess the first thing to do is just restate what I was trying to achieve was the same resolution and the same accuracy as the HP um, 3631A power supply. Uh, that means one millivolt steps on a range of 0 to 6 volts. Actually, I'm extending this to 0 to 8 volts, uh, a range of one millivolt steps. And uh, on the high voltage range, um, which was 0 to 30 volts, um, achieving um, uh, 10 millivolt steps. That's that's essentially what the um, what the HP power supply achieves. Um, I I thought I'd take you just just um, show you that because that's now been achieved and uh, and it and it works pretty well. So here here we are. Um, I talked in the previous video about the offset voltage. There is there is a little offset voltage when there's zero written into the DAC. Um, you, you know we get a code offset of um, a, an output reading of two millivolts. I'd l I'd really like that to go down to zero. Um, I back back to the original problem with the the buffer for the ADC. Uh, in order for me to achieve getting that down to zero, I think I'd have to add a a, a negative supply split split, split supply. So uh, I'm very sorely tempted to sacrifice that offset. Obviously, when you turn the output off, it it, it brings the regulator down, and and so there's nothing coming out the power supply. But when you turn it on, even if you set it to zero, you've got this this two millivolt um, um, offset, which which is just slightly annoying. However, it only exists right down at those um, at that level. So I'm just going to, if I set that to one millivolt, you'll see uh, the yellow. Just to re recap, the yellow is where it's calibrating. Uh, the blue uh, writing is actually being read from the ADC. You can see that in here. Um, this is the code being read out of the analog to digital converter. Um, and that's what it translates to in terms of voltage. So if I just step those up through the the sorts of ranges we're talking about, two millivolts. Once you get above the offset voltage, everything starts to hang together properly. So here's three millivolts, four millivolts, five millivolts, six millivolts, and so on. Um, pretty much any anything I set now all the way up to uh, let's just set 3.033. Uh, let's go to 6.033, 6.987. You can see it's it's pretty consistent. Um, 6.1, right up to 8 volts, 8 volts and some. I think 8 8 100 is uh, is safe. Okay, so if you recall, um, if you see that resolution, we've got resolution here of um, 100, um, 100 uh, sorry, 1 millivolt. Bear in mind that this is on a, a, voltage, a regulator gain of 2, so actually in, in order to 
um, get 8.1 volts in the output. The actual output will be set to 4.05 volts. So this is actually a resolution of um, of uh, 500 microvolts is what what you're seeing here. A gain of two. The um, and the and as you can see, the the meter reading is very stable. Now, just to prove that, you, if you look here, this is the upper end of that that voltage range, 8.1 volts. If you just look at the code that's being read back there, that's about four million codes, which is the full scale of um, of the 18 bits there. Um, so, and you can see in here, if I just reset the window here, you can see the noise, and this is the noise after the um, the masking of the 22 bits and also of the oversampling so um, and the oversampling is a, in effect it's a um, it's a low-pass filtering software is really really what it what it ends up being um, and that window I, I've left this overnight uh, on, on a number of varying voltages and that that window um, is, is about 30 um, and the variance on the monitored voltage is about 0.1 volts now to see that and to see that it is varying what I've done uh, now what I also stated so so the 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 goal I've achieved if I go to times 10 which was the high voltage range we talked about and just apply that in here set that to 1 volt um, you can see that I'll let me just drop the resolution down to to what we're trying to achieve so this is again this is equivalent to the HP supply there's 1 volt 1.01 volts um, right the way up to 40 volts okay 40.01 40.02 there's no missing codes in any of this um, they're all um, they're all um, all present and correct I have a I have a test which allows me to verify that uh, I won't bother dumping the um, dumping the output um, to you because I'm, I don't think anyone particularly wants to look through tens of thousands of, uh, of codes and the resulting measurements um, so uh, with this setup, uh, basically, I've achieved the goal of, of um, meeting the resolution. I did state, I made a, a, a slightly bold statement. That actually, I'll try and achieve um, an, one order of magnitude better. So, try and improve the resolution by um, by ten. Um, and actually, uh, that's also that's also been achieved. So, if I come back here and go to a resolution of four, um, so this is. Uh, four digits of resolution in the low voltage range so this is in 100 microvolt steps and if you see I'll set this to I don't know, let's say 6.001 volts doesn't really matter anything you'll see that I get that resolution 6.002 and again uh, fully verified no missing codes okay um, just to see the sort of resolution that the ADC is capable of I can actually take this up to five decimal places and you can see the output on there. So that that's what that's what you're measuring. Um, it's to five digits of resolution, which is pretty good. You can see the noise fluctuates there by about 20 or 30 microvolts. Okay, so that's that's the the kind of sensitivity or the the kind of resolution that we've got in the ADC, and it's it's pretty accurate. You know, it's pretty uh, you can get pretty good results. So there you go, six. Yeah, that's pretty good. Eight. Let's just pick a few spot voltages just so you can see that. Uh, pick some common ones. 4.096. 10 millivolts. Okay. So pretty good resolution throughout the range. 1 millivolt, hopefully. I think this is just a bit below, isn't it? Yeah, so there you can see the offset about 1.5 millivolts. So um, I have to be above that, so I get to 1.7, and I should start getting accuracy. There you go, just as it kicks in. So you can start to see as the DAC becomes accurate over that voltage. Um, I have also verified this by, um, uh, or verifying the noise levels by monitoring the output of a, of a double A cell. Uh, just a 1.1.6 volts there or thereabouts, uh, which is a nice, quiet, constant, clean-ish 
um, voltage source and uh, measured that overnight and you know the, the results are comparable so I'm, I'm getting no more noise certainly from the point of view of impacting the analog to digital readings than I, than I would be otherwise um, right so so that's the that's the results so far uh, as you can see I've improved um, and achieved the goals I've even achieved the the order of magnitude um, improvement over what I wanted to achieve so uh, everything's looking really good I think the the design is as far as the um, the uh, component selection is concerned is, is pretty much it that's what you need you need a 16-bit DAC you need a 24-bit ADC that you that you trim off the the ends of uh, or the, the least significant bits to, to get rid of noise um, and uh, and that gives you the the range um, to, to achieve the power supply uh, goals that I have or the goals for the power supply that I have. Alright, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you next time.